Hey. Hey. Let's get started. So my name is Antoine. Uh, like I always say, always give me the feedback because if you leave the feedback, then I know I have my beautiful family here are watching this video so I can continue to support you and continue to help you out. Okay. So also, if you need my service, or you have any type of message or some serious business, you can simply uh, direct message me to my Instagram, mtwana underscore bantu, mtwana underscore bantu. Or, or also do double. Email me also, mtwana wabantu at your gmail.com. Gmail. Okay? Or you can direct message me on Instagram. It's very important because I also have a program where I feed the homeless and help the brother to send the own two features you can provide on the own family and provide for themselves. So I have an entrepreneurship program, but name also coding program where I can help a special brother who are uh, in need, you know? Okay, now let's get started. So this question here is say, so very easy. So now let me show you how we can solve this. Very interesting, man. So these is the, okay. Mm, no, they say the inter, in interval notation set. So this set is not in interval notation, but they want us to change to interval. They say the interval notation of this set is expressed as that. Yes, I agree, that's true. Okay, so let me explain to you something so you can understand. For example, if somebody say our data, for example, this interval, right? when you write this sign, this is including, this is excluding, this is excluding, this is including, this means including when you start and when you finish. Okay, so now, and that's called interval notation, I means it's interval notation, but this is set builder notation. State builder notation, for example, if somebody say negative five to six, let's say this is including, this is excluding, this is including. If you want to write a set builder notation, you say X are element of real number, and then you write the number you start with, which is negative five, but this is including, so you write less or equal, and then you write your X, and then you say E, this is excluding, so since it's excluding, you write only one. So stick, stick, and then you put your curly bracket. So that's how you change from interval to excluding. Now let's go to the actual question. I don't want to waste a lot of time here. Let's get to the what the one, okay? Let's go to what it asks us to do. So let's say you start from negative two, including x, excluding five. Let's write the interval test. So interval means you start from negative two. Oh, my problem, my problem, sorry, sorry, sorry means you start from all the way from negative two including see that one equals so negative two including means you must write like that and then you write uh what am i doing i don't know it's very sensitive my part of my family and then you say comma all the way to five excluding means five and then excluding union you know you don't miss put them together unite them with what so they give us here uh x start from negative three excluding so you're gonna say excluding negative three because this means excluding is excluding excluding negative three and there's a comma to seven excluding also to seven what excluding which they gave us this one we like it so they say remember you can unite means you can union both of them put them together if you put them together you're gonna start look it start from negative three but also there's a negative no negative three negative two so which is the 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 the, the, the farthest one on left negative three is the farthest one on left so since negative three is the farthest one on the left, but a negative three is excluding. So I don't have to say negative three. Now let's go farther to the right. Farther to the right, this is five, this is seven. Which is the farthest one? The farthest one is seven. But uh, both of them, you no, know, this one has excluding, the farthest one has excluding, and the farthest one on the left also has a excluding because negative three and negative two, this is, is the farthest one. So we take negative three, but it's excluding. So this is gonna be our final answer. Let's come here and look what is our final answer wait, 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 what do you don't want they say union so it means i'm wrong now let me see how i did i did wrong here thank you thank you thank you because we don't have no option right there now which is the farthest one here the one which is more to the left is a uh, negative three of course so we're gonna say negative three now let's see the one which is to the right is seven. Oh, there was an answer here yeah, i didn't look at so seven seven excluding because negative three is excluding and seven is excluding do you understand what i'm saying so the answer was here not see my point so the answer is option three let's go to the next question so the next question they say uh they say 
suppose so they give us this is that build a notation form x is greater than negative 3 and then b x so what we can do sometimes if you get confused you know the base way right write is a number line if you get confused let me show you how to write the number line so you can learn everything let me write my number line on the first one the first one they say you start from is greater than positive 3 including okay let's say this is 0 positive 3 is going to be somewhere here let's say this is 1 2 3 let's assume this is 0 let's say so greater than positive 3 means what's a positive 3 uh, because they say it's greater or equal to positive 3 let's say this is 3 so positive 3 let's say 1 2 3 so it's going to be including means you do like this because including in a number line you put that if it's including you write like that that's including but for now it's including greater than oh negative 3 my power i thought it's positive 3 my power i'm sorry is negative 3 sorry so this zero negative one is going to be negative one negative two negative three so negative three is bigger than negative three means you go to the negative three here say okay this is negative three including remember because there's a two things here oh my god i see i see one minute i'm touching the keyboard here my apologies right so so is greater or equal to negative three means you do, you do like this bigger than negative three it's negative three we say this is negative one negative two zero okay all the way so this is going to be x is greater or equal to negative three let's draw another number line but i make sure the number must be on a same line okay like on a same a line they must align to each other okay we we'll do like this later. so we say this is zero okay now this is like i said okay now let's go for the second one so this is for a for b x is greek is less than five what is five let's say this is like zero one two three four five so is less excluding five what does that mean this is five but it's less means it's going to be like this but i wouldn't know what we're going to stop so this is b so say what b x less than five here is including now let's go for the last one the last one draw another number line i'm showing you so you can understand because sometimes they ask another way around okay the last one they say x is between negative two okay look this is zero right means this is negative one negative two remember this this is zero negative one negative two negative three negative two okay but for now they say what negative two means negative this, this is zero negative two is going to be somewhere here but is it including excluding excluding so we do like this all the way to including seven look this is five this is one two three four five so it's going to be five six seven somewhere here but is including so we're going to do like this so what you do you connect them right so this will be what we have between okay so on the left is negative two and here's positive seven now what do they want let's go to the question a union b remember this is a and this is b so when you unite means put them together when you put them together look it's gonna be look and that's very interesting a union b look it's gonna be a union b oh, oh no no a intersection b my code a intersection b means put no intersection will look where they have in common what do they have in common here the common is going to start from i don't know this negative three right it's going to start from negative three all the way to to what to five because remember this go all the way to five excluded negative three to five excluded but a negative three is going to be including but a five is going to be excluded so this is going to be equal to negative three including to five excluding but this is a notation but if you want to write is it in table like how they give to us if you want to write a set build notation, this is interval notation. But if you want to write a set build notation, you're going to say x are element of real number whereby from where from negative 3, but it's including all the way. Woo, okay, I don't want to mess up there because I got another line. We're going to use it very soon. So let me write, I can say this equal to. Let me see face if it's showing there, right? Yes. Okay, not to right. More to the right. Okay, set notation is going to be x are element of real number. Whereby it starts from negative 3, including. Okay, including means value of x to the power of excluding. Excluding. And that's going to be our answer. Let's see if it's true. Okay, including, yes, x, x. Yes, it's true. So option number one is true. Now let's go to the option number two. 
Option number two, they say A intersection C. A intersection C means from A and C, how do they intersect? Look. A and C. What do they have in common if we can look here? Okay. We know we're going to start from here. Look, this is negative two. We're going to look. This is zero, right? This is zero. This is zero. And this is zero somewhere here. And this is negative two. So where do they have where do they have in common because they intersect A and C? Means is going to start from negative two because here negative two and negative two there is something here. So from negative two all the way to seven because remember this go the way. So negative two to seven. But a negative two since this is including this excluding means it's going to be excluded because he is including here is excluded. So it's going to be excluded. Why not including? Because look if you have a two intersection false equal to false it's like if you lie and you tell the truth at the same time then it's going to be lies so since this is including and this is excluding at the negative two because you can't say more than here because there's nothing here so we start from negative two is going to be the point so we're going to say negative two x are element of real number which is start from negative two excluding like i say because here is including here is excluding so like i said two and four equal to four x and then how does it go it goes to seven because here this remember it goes all the way is greater than negative all the way so it means the last one is going to be seven but it's including here and here is going to be including including to seven let's see if it's true excluding excluding x x yes true so this is true now and then you must close your other bracket here must be common now let's go for c for c they say b and c b and c let's see what they have in common remember this one start from uh it start from positive five to the negative and here start from seven to negative two so what they have in common the common is going to start from five all the way to negative two but here is excluding one side is excluding one side is here is including here is excluding here is excluding also since here is including excluding it's going to be excluding for five so it's going to be five excluding x and all the way since this two here because b and c remember is including here because it's on a line but here is excluding so it's going to be negative two excluding also okay now you're going to say x uh, element of real number so now let's see if it's true uh no it's not true because no 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 i'm wrong i'm wrong my apology i don't read the question carefully for the last one I need to read the question carefully because they did not ask intersection. So I made assumption because here they say union. Union means put them together. So that means if you put together this B and C, means it's going to be on the right hand side, it's going to be all the way because this go all the way. And on the left hand side, it's going to be all the way. But the problem is not problem. Means it's going to be X. At, no, it's going to be the answer is going to be. Um, why is not max that's because you cannot say less than seven because this all 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 is b and c right what is a b b is less than five less than five and c seven to negative two. Oh, okay i see it's top of seven and this one start from five and less so means it's gonna be less than seven it's true because look let me let me, let me show you here what i'm if we put together this stuff from 7 to negative 2 and this from uh, 7 all the way. In, oh, 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 sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm wrong here. Sorry, my apologies. Sorry. It's here. B and C. So they B start from 5 to the less and C start from 7 to the less. So if you put them together, it's going to be X less or equal to 7. So this is true here. Let me see. It must be including it. So yeah, A, B, C. All of them are true. So option four is true, A, B, C. You see what I'm saying? Because this is less than seven, but even though it starts at two, but this continue all the way. So if you put them together, it's going to be seven all the way. Or you can just look at the number. So option four is true. Option four is true. So that being said, I don't want to make this very longer. And uh, I made a lot of wrong pronunciation. But hey, like say, oh, it's B. Oh, so you see my mistake I made? I need to read the question carefully. So when you redo, since you understand also, try to read your question very, very carefully. Right? Don't make mistakes, which I did. Thanks a lot for time. Peace and a mouth.